Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you've been following my journey, you'll know that I generally prefer to scalp the five minute time frame when it comes to trading Forex. Well, in this video, I'm going to share with you a recap for a swing trade that I took on Australian dollar, Canadian dollar. Now, although I am trading a funded account with a five percenters, this trade, I actually took it in my personal account because I've been developing this swing trading strategy, which has been using a mixture of the daily and the four hour time frame. The trade itself ended up being a really nice winner and I'm going to break it down with you on the charts in just a moment. Let's get to it. Okay guys, so I've just loaded up my chart here for Australian dollar, Canadian dollar. And as you can see, we've been in this really nice uptrend making higher highs and higher lows. After I carried out my analysis at the weekend for the week ahead, just looking at the weekly and the daily timeframes, I had Australian dollar, Canadian dollar on my watch list looking for a potential long position because it had been in this uptrend. We've been having this period of pullback on the daily and we've been consolidating, building a support. And when I was interested to actually get into this trade was because we'd had one, two, and then three taps of this support level. So it was making a triple bottom. So when I loaded up my charts on the Monday morning, I was having a look at this area here and I set my long tool at the bottom of this third triple bottom. At the time we were starting to surge up on the four hourly chart and I felt like it was gathering the momentum it needed to potentially get out of this range that it had been in. Now because I've not taken a lot of swing trades and I was looking to hold this for a while, I was actually using quite a large stop for this trade using an 80 pip stop. And I was looking for a two to one profit loss ratio. So I was going to risk 80 pips in order to make 160 pips. Now what I really enjoyed about this trade was that I set my trade plan on the Monday. I actually got into the trade on the Monday and then I didn't think about it all week. I just had it running in the background. I knew I had my stop and I knew I had my target. So I didn't need to do anything else other than let the trade play out. So all in all, other than actually setting the orders, setting the stops, setting the take profit orders, I didn't take any time on this trade. I didn't sit and watch it. And quite honestly, I didn't even really think about it because my usual routine for day trading, as you know, is for scalping and that's what I stuck to. And I wasn't even using the broker that I had this trade in. So I was able to really switch off, which helped. And at the end of the week, I checked the trade and it actually hit my take profit. So it was a really nice way to swing trade. And I think it could be a useful way if you were very busy in the week, if you have work commitment. It can be a way to trade around work without having to take up too much of your time. Now, I believe there's always something to learn from a trade from both winners and losers. And in this instance, I feel like I could definitely have maybe sold part of my position at this profit target and then held some more because I was on the daily time frame and I think there is still room for this to move upwards. But that's just my lesson from this trade. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you've got any questions or comments, leave them below and don't forget to hit that like button and make sure you're subscribed for more videos and I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks guys. Bye.